Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see uh, how to compute the uh, mean, variance and standard deviation and also how to sort the array elements. Right. So whatever the array elements you are giving, those array elements mean you should find, variance you should find and standard deviation also you should find. At the same time, you need to sort them in particular order. So we are going with the ascending order for this sorting. Right. So yes. So let us start the program so the basic hash include stdio.h is as usual and uh, for the standard deviation you are going to calculate the power also that is you are using the power function so that is the reason we are using here math.h and coming with your main i had declared few variables like int i n j temp each uh, uh, may, uh, uh, n, like i and j are used for for, for loops temporary variable is used for swapping where uh, it is used for sorting of uh, array va uh, array values and uh, num 30 is an array size so below 30 any number of uh, array elements you can give and uh, then i am taking some floating point variables also like uh, std underscore dev is nothing but standard deviation extra variable for sum in order to calculate the uh, mean and the sum square and uh, mean value and some extra variable value and also some variance so all these are some few variables which i have declared and all those will be using in our program Right. So first I'm asking user to enter number of elements into array. So you may give 5, 4, be below 30, whatever the number you want, you can give that one. And next I'm asking user to enter the values. So if I give 5, you need to enter 5 values. So I need to repeat that. I mean, I need to re read all 5 values and I should store it into the array. No? So for that reason, we are using the for loop here at the same time i'm also calculating the sum also so sum i had initialized to zero so zero plus whatever the number value at zero at the position value then at first position then at second position i'll be to doing the total also in this for loop only. next so and after doing total we are just coming out of this for loop okay and then next i'm taking two for loops that is one is for reading one by one and how many times I need to swap? That is, I need to check out the swapping, right? So generally, you know, swapping is just to interchange the values. So what we are trying to do as we are trying to provide it in some particular order, that is in the ascending order, I need to compare the values each time. See, for the first cycle, when I'll enter, I'll compare A of 0 with A of 1. Next, A of 0 with A of 2. A of 0 with A of 3. A of 4. So, whenever that less than, I mean, if suppose I had value uh, 23 and 1. 23 is there in the 0th element. 1 is there in the uh, second position, right? So, if I'll just compare A of 0 is less than, uh, greater than, uh, a of 1 then what I should do I need to swap that so for that swapping I had used an extra temporary variable and I had started swapping that right so for that reason we are using here two for loops and this if loop uh, if loop is for conditional checking right so once the 23 is compared with each and every element swapping is done wherever the swapping is done you'll just come out of that and you'll increment the i value so now what will happen for the first cycle the a of 0th element will be in the ascending order that is first position will be done then you will move on to the second position and this second position is again compared with third fourth fifth if any swapping is occurred swapping will be done right so next uh, root repetition will be for the third element so third element will be compared with fourth and fifth if any swapping is done you will enter into the second for loop you will do the swapping and again you will come back and you will move to the fourth element so each time you are going to check out for each position so that is what the first for loop and second for loop is comparison between the number of variables as i said second number is compared with third fourth fifth so each and every time you will compare after comparing if swapping is required you will do this if loop or else you are not going to do any if loop right so this is what actually these two for loops are used after doing that swapping i just wanted to print those values so now whatever the values are there those are available in your num right so though all those values will be printed here next 
after sorting, I mean, after printing that, next what I wanted to do is I wanted to find out the mean. So for the mean formula is you should sum all the values and divide by n. How many number of values are there? That number. If I, as I said, if I take five, I need to do mean is equals to total value by five, right? So that is what I'm doing here. And then next, what we are trying to do is you're trying to find out the variance. So variance formula is, you know, su uh, summation of i is equals to 1 to n. So that i is equals to 1 to n is by using that for loop xi minus x1 uh, or else you can tell that um, x minus x bar whole square, right? So this uh, sum of square is initialized to 0. That is for the first value. And you are going to find out the number of i minus mean. So whatever the mean value is there, for that you are doing the square. That is x i minus x bar. x bar indicates that it is a mean value, right? So this whole square and then you are adding. Why we are doing some square? Because we also wanted to do summation. In the formula, you will have the summation. So from the beginning till end, powers also you need to add. So this is the variance formula, right? So, sorry, for the uh, doing of summation of i is equals to 1 to n, where x, x1 minus xi minus x bar whole square is done here. But the variance is summation of i is equals to 1 to n into xi minus x bar whole square by n. Right, so this by n is the complete variance formula, and the square root of this variance is nothing but your standard deviation. So then, simply I'm just trying to print out the uh, mean value, mean of the given numbers is n comma mean, and mean of va variance of those numbers it will print the variance, and uh, standard deviation is printed by std dev. And finally, we are just closing this uh, main function and coming out of the uh, main program right so this is what we are trying to do in our mean variance standard deviation mean and variance so let us once compile this code and we'll check out once right so compilation no errors and then run the code so i'm giving number of uh, values enter number of elements in array i'm giving five so whatever the values 12 23, uh, 1, 2, 4, 3. Five elements I had given. So first, the numbers in ascending order is 1, 2, 12, 23, and 43. So you just do that mean 23 plus 43 and plus 12 plus 2 plus 1, whole divided by 5. Then you will get approximately some 16.200. And then its variance you should calculate like summation is equals to uh, summation of i equals to uh, 1 to n and xi minus mean whole square you should do by 2. And then square root of that 242 is approximately you are getting 15.58. So these are the mean variance and standard deviation and also you are sorting the array elements in ascending order not in descending order we are going on with the ascending order if you wanted to do the descending order just change the symbol in your if loop right so this is what the uh, program to compute uh, mean variance and uh, standard deviation also sorting of array elements that's all for this video thank you all